Welcome to ECN Trade Daily Video. Before we begin, it should be noted that any advice is of a general nature only and that your personal circumstances have not been taken into consideration. Hello everyone, my name is Rob Clayton and thank you very much for joining me. A very interesting price action overnight as the market stays the knee-jerk reaction. As you can see here, stabbed at the level of 72.6080 before its retreat. The overnight choppy price action was triggered by comments from China's foreign minister, spokesman Gen Shangen, saying that Trump and Xing have agreed to reach an agreement. However, this quickly faded after the spokesman clarified that the agreement referred to November the 1st between the two parties and the fact that it was from a phone call. But later, Donald Trump's top economic advisor, Larry Kudlow, also sparked some hope that the US and China will strike a compromise on trade. Still, nothing has really come out in concrete. The market sharply retreated from around 25-30 points from the highs of 72.68. It is assessed that the market still sees the 72.60-80 level as a potential sell zone. It is assessed, though, from the intraday outlook, that the market is still vulnerable to the 71.80 key level, which is the 60-day moving average. A break beneath there would give further scope and reinstate the downside potential that I was calling not so long ago at 70 cents. However, still viewed towards 72.60.80 as a potential supply and expect to see markets fail upon renewed challenges. The dollar index still maintains a positive outlook and looks very much now to challenging the 98 level after posting the high of 97.39 overnight. Later today is the speech from Fed Chairman Jerome Powell. Along with this, on Friday morning at 6am, we have the uh, Fed Minutes release and also the G20 Summit to come up. So no doubt the market will be volatile, so do be aware in terms of your stop loss and risk management. However, from a technical point, the MACD is coming back into a marriage with the RSI and supporting the downward move now from the break of 113.20 overnight does give further scope towards 112.60 with the objective of 111.60. Any advances should find good resistance around 113.55 to 114.10. Well, with the dollar slightly staging its firm backbone, is the fact is the dollar yen case has also rallied and now looks towards the region at this stage of the rejection area of 114.20. I'm not bullish at these levels and I'm a little bit cautious due to the fact is this pattern is not as strong in terms of how the candles are portraying, then we could see another failed level after two attempts, ended up with long-legged dojis and fell away very sharply. So I do expect profit-taking to come from this level. Support on the day seen at 113.20. Well, the pound is weaker and now looks closer to the support level of 126.90. A break beneath there could set a trigger and a reaction to the downside of targeting around the 124 level, or even lower. Over the 121 to 123. Overnight, the EU reluctantly approved the Brexit withdrawal agreement, and the Brexit ball is now in the hands of the British lawmakers. A vote on the agreement has been scheduled for December the 11th, giving the Prime Minister two weeks to sway an unconvinced Parliament to pass the deal and leave the EU on an agably and amicable terms. The EU has warned that it will not reopen up the agreement to any changes. So if the UK Prime Minister will convince lawmakers that the current draft agreement is preferable to a no-deal, then a hard Brexit will probably come into play and see the market fall heavily towards the suggested regions. Resistance is very hard to put in place other than 129.50, which is a long, long way away. So do be on your guard if you are trading. Gold broke down further overnight and now looks towards the recent break level of 1,210. At present, though, the market is a little bit concerned maybe to what the outcome is with China and the US and also with the speech that Jerome Powell, the Fed chairman, will give tonight. If it is a little bit more hawkish, then the market could see a little bit further to the downside and maybe back towards the region of 1,200. So do be on your guard if you're trading from alongside. This is quite a strong candle, and this is actually breaking down further. So I'm not overly bullish at these levels. 
Oil rake up recovers by 1% overnight, but still got the resistance to, to clear at $52.55. A break above there would give further scope to the upside, and maybe bring into a play of $55 as a potential target. Do note, though, we get a slippage to the downside, and as you can see, this pattern has done this many times. That's a break of $49.80 well, $49 or $50 a barrel would expose the region of 45 well, that wraps up for today. Thank you very much for joining me. And as always, look out for the Inch Day Report. And I hope you enjoy the rest of the day that's ahead.